SMS spooky to 1300 for Jenny now. Go. Don't let it go yet. Is he a very important... This is the one that we're going to put a note on. Yeah. Yes. All right, Colin Seymour joins us now. Colin, um, Anzac Day tomorrow, of course, standing here next to the Anzac Bridge. Um, pigeons played a really important role, particularly World War I, but also then through into World War II, didn't they? Certainly. Pigeons saved hundreds of lives, thousands of lives during both world wars. Um, world War I in particular, but then World War II, initially they'd been uh, abandoned, the Pigeon Corps, but they found they needed them because radios failed. Isn't that interesting? Because I know at the time um, th there were many in the military saying, oh, we can't go back to pigeons that's because right, that's so exactly. prehistoric. And yet there was nothing as good as pigeons. Uh, radios fail. Yeah. Uh, when you need ra radio silence, you've got to have some way of sending messages. So that's how so they saved lives. Uh, can you just explain? Because I'm still a bit confused how a pigeon saves a man's life. Uh, take, for example, um, a, a pigeon they called Winky. Yes. It was the first one to be awarded what's called the Dickon Medal, which is the uh, equivalent of Victoria Cross. Um, they were sending two pigeons with every air crew that went on, on a bomber raid. A bomber went down in the North Sea. Yep. Um, they sent out an SOS message uh, saying, we're, we're going down, this is a position. Only the SOS got through, not the, not the, position. Not the position, and the crew went down. The search crews had 100,000 square miles to cover. They said, look, they didn't make it, and they gave up. So, of course, the assumption was they were all killed. It was. The pigeon Winky was let go. Uh, no note, no anything on it. Covered in oil. Flew uh, some... Oh, hundreds of kilometres yeah. back. And they knew that the crew had survived. They, they knew the crew had survived. They worked out how far it, where they were yep, because right, of the right. time it took for the pigeon to fly. Fantastic. And they were able to send out a search crew. And Winky them. was awarded a Medal of Honour for his bravery. Right. Um, now, we're, we're going to let send these this go. pigeon yeah. off, aren't we? We've got a, we've got a message here. Yeah? Yep. Let's do that. So how do, we, how do I roll it up? Is that the way... I, why am I making out like I know how to do this? I have no do idea. You do you I'll hand Nick, you... Nick, yeah. Nick. I'll hand you that. Yeah. Do we roll it up or...? We wrap it up. Yes. OK. Now, this pigeon is going to its owner, is it? It's going back to its home. It's going to its, to its, its owner at right. Brighton the Sands, yes. Brighton the Sands, and we will be there when it arrives. Just quickly, right. homing, how, how, do they, how do they know where to go? Uh, we wish we knew. Uh, we, we have some idea. They use a number of means. They have good memories. They look for, for landmarks yep. that they know. They have uh, an ability to read the sun and, and work out uh, the time of day and the direction from the sun. They also appear to have some sort of magnetic compass that they right. follow the magnetic lines on the Earth. It's it's to, what's this pigeon's name? There's no name to it. So okay, we'll call him. We'll call him number three. Yes. Um, so it just you liberate number three. He's on his way. We just how long will it take? Together. How long does it take a pigeon to say cover fifty kilometres? You know, do they have a, a certain yeah, speed or do they, they vary? Half an hour. Half an hour. Half yeah. an hour. Right. Yeah, so it's fantastic. about fantastic. Right. Hundred kilometres an hour. They fly at hundred kilometres an hour. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah that, that's it. There about their top speed uh, over a longer distance they obviously would be more the uh, the, the 80 yeah. the, uh, hour but so yeah. quick and is it true they don't fly as okay. the crow flies they fly sometimes zigzag generally they do fly we're ready to liberate he's sure. lost a few feathers We've but that's all right okay here we go it's time to liberate number three oh <laughs> He's not really. Come on. He's not got up to 100 miles an hour yet, but he's on his way. He's not used to having a message on his it's way. It's that way, I think. Isn't and the interesting way? thing is, Colin, the interesting yeah. thing is, quite often they don't fly in straight lines because yeah. they're trying to work out. out. We're, we're, uh, you'll see him circling at the moment. He's, he's, he's getting his, his uh, bearings, yeah. and then there he'll he be off. When he gets close to home, there will be certain. Landmarks, landmarks that he will follow yeah. and yes they will at times follow a road or or something it's amazing they they, they do use all those means all right the most because i know you've studied the, the He's history back. of this the, the most decorated pigeon what was the story behind the most decorated pigeon is he 
Yes. That, that looks like coming back to me, but I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Uh, he's, Number three. He's fine with it. Uh, th there are lots of uh, pigeons. Uh, the Dickon Medal was instituted uh, during Second World War for pigeons. Uh, some 53 Dickon Medals have been yep. awarded. Um, 13 were awarded to uh, dogs, yeah. uh, 3 were awarded to horses, and some 32 were awarded to pigeons. Yeah. Uh, well, that says it all, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Um, uh, I make probably the, 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 the best known is the Australian pigeon that um, uh, was sent uh, up from a, a stricken um, merchant uh, thing in pa Papua, uh, Papua New Guinea. Mm -hmm. It uh, flew through a tropical storm some 60 or so kilometres uh, through a raging storm. They couldn't use the radio because that would have given away their pos position yeah. and it saved the lives of those th those men. A couple of hundred men. A couple of hundred men One on a trip. Pigeon. One so pigeon. Yeah. And, and these pigeons and the pigeons in the war are very different to the pigeons we see in the city. Or are they exactly the same? Have they all got a homing device in them somewhere? The, the ones you see are the same species they would interbreed. Some are racing pigeons that have gone feral, but most of them have just developed and they're equivalent to the wild dove uh, from which all the pigeons ha have developed. So just relating it, going, going, back to the, yeah. going back to the war again, the diggers would actually carry wicker cages with a couple of pigeons in them. I mean, you mentioned PNG, yep. they were used extensively in PNG. They would certainly carry those wicker cages. They would even at times drop uh, pigeons by parachute yep. to, uh, to to to. That uh, seems a waste of a parachute to drop a pigeon <laughs> by a parachute. Uh, I think a pigeon in a wicker cage might hurt itself. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> might. Now, are we going to let the rest of these go so they can find we their are. way back? All right. This what is. Fan. Can I open a couple of doors? Well, come, come to this yeah. one. This one. Can I? This one. Can I so, so we do, yeah. do okay. we need to stand back. Oh, shall I turn it round? Right. No, that's right. If you just uh, stand to the side okay. and I'll lift the door. Here we go. Stand by, chaps. There we go. So do they. Oh, that was one. <laughs> Watch yourself. I hit that picture. <laughs> He's going down, is he? I think he might have pooed so, on my jacket. Yes. So we're going to check back in with those guys. They're going to end up where we uh, we will be very shortly. How long? We're thinking to take them a little bit of time, half an hour maybe, to get to where we're going. 15 minutes. 15 yeah. minutes. Oh 15 minutes. All right. Brilliant. Start the clock. We Thank will be you. back with you okay. soon. Thank you, Colin. Pigeon. Cheyenne Hall joins us now. She was at the arrival point because they were, they were your pig pigeons, Cheyenne, were they? No, they weren't. They were another pigeon flyer's pigeons that were released. But they're obviously from that area because they're homing to where you are now. Um, yes. And the note has <laughs> arrived. This is, this is a tame pigeon flyer holding the pigeon now. Perhaps yeah. you could get him to read the note out so that we George, could can you read just double check. It's like I'm David Copperfield and we're just proving that this wasn't a trick. Although we could have had two notes. So d how, how familiar, Cheyenne, are you with the fact that pigeons were used during World War I and II? I'm very familiar with the pigeons because my parents originally had pigeons before I was born and our pigeons are from the McClellan, McC McClellan pigeons which originated from the war so they're very, they're very um, familiar to my family. So, you've got, so your pigeons have hobby. got war blood flowing through their veins. What does the message actually say? I read the message. Oh, no. You read it. No, you can read it. No, you have to read it. <laughs> read it. Uh, ten breakfast, commentators, the pigeon, combination to the World War II. Did you hear that? Yes, yes, I did. That is fantastic. It's okay. definitely the pigeon that we set off. Now, I'm looking at the pigeon you're holding in your hand there, Cheyenne, and I'm thinking that a true war pigeon would be embarrassed to be next to that pigeon. That is a yeah. la da <laughs> pigeon, isn't it? What's that? It's a frill back. A frill back? Yeah. Do you do that with tiny little curling tongs? No, it's all natural. See, look. Wait. Right, you just pull one out. Just give it a yank. See? Oh, it's yeah, all natural. Did. Oh, look at that. That is very cool. Why are they so... I mean, you're 17 years old, I think, aren't you, Cheyenne? Um, yeah, I'm 17. A, a lot of 17-year-old girls wouldn't be spending as much time with pigeons. Um, is, it a, <laughs> is it a cool hobby? Yeah, it's a very cool hobby. We tried to work out before um, how yeah. it is that pigeons home because, of course, there have been lots of people studying this for a long time. And, and in the war, indeed, they were trying to work out exactly what it is in a pigeon that will allow it to be set free in an entirely different location, never been to before, sometimes thousands of miles away, and yet still it can get home. What's your theory? The same. <laughs> 
The tracking theory. Yeah, the tracking theory. That because some yes. people think that they've got, they're able to see the magnetic waves, don't they? Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Okay, your favourite pigeon is what? The frillback. Is it that one? That is your favourite yeah. pigeon. If, if there's one thing that you could say to other young people in Australia now that would get them interested in pigeons, what would it be? Um, it's very interesting and you learn so many things and it's very social in ways and you get to learn so many different things about learning how to um, look after pigeons and rare things and keep things clean and yeah. <laughs> that is fantastic and let's face it this could be a career for you because I know at the last Royal Easter show you won a medal with the pigeons and at the last Royal Easter show you were actually one of the judges. Let's have a look at this fantastic, this is the award winning pigeon is it? Oh this one is but I also have this Lahore. Mm -hmm. So it originated from France. Wow. Yeah, that is and fantastic. it has like muffs, muff feet, and it's that very actually, big. That actually looks like <laughs> it would taste quite good as well, but I suppose... I no suppose, way. No, no way. You wouldn't even... Don't even associate with someone like me. You might suggest you could fry them. Um, Cheyenne, thank you very much for joining us, and I wish you all the very best. Do you imagine in the future you will work with birds or you'll become a vet or something like that? No, it's just a hobby I, I mean interested in because it's very different to what other young people are doing absolutely like yeah fantastic so fantastic very, Shane. Yeah. i take my hat off to you okay. thank you very much for joining us this morning you take care of those birds thank you i'm sure i've seen somebody wearing that brown one. now <laughs> kath what we